Yeah, gentlemen, please welcome Kevin Samuels to TSR Towers. Kevin, thanks for making time for us again tonight, man. We appreciate it. What's going on, fellas? What's going on, Donovan? Not too much, man. Now, you're not here to talk about style and image consulting. We are basically uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have the 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 same conversation that you and I had kind of mm -hmm. had uh, the other day, and this is what you and I are gonna talk about is why is it that a mm -hmm. growing number of grown men why are they living with day mamas? Day what mama. is going on with that? Well, you know, and this is something that um, has come up more than since I do you know, image coaching, life coaching one-on-one -on -one with these guys. And what I started to notice is over the last year, I was starting to see more and more guys who were either had their associate's degree or their bachelor's degree, you know, gainfully employed, you know, but in their mid to late twenties, still living at home with, with mama. And it, it, it just started getting to the point where it begged the question. I'm like, what is going on with guys in this failure to launch? Um, I actually did a couple of broadcasts on my YouTube channel addressing it. One that was about two weeks ago. That's epic. If you guys haven't checked it out, I strongly suggest you check it out because uh, I even had guys calling into the show, you know, talking about, you know, I'm in this same position. Uh, I had a father call in who uh, basically had to go through this. So here's the thing. It, it's no respecter of race uh, income. It's, but it is definitely, it's definitely a, a millennial thing. And we okay. gotta, we gotta address it because what I'm seeing is so many guys out there are just lost in the sauce. They're just twisting out there. And we try to give guys, you know, input direction. Um, it's one thing to be out there, but it's another thing to be out there with no plan. Everything happens to everybody. Right. Of course. It happens to everybody. But just being there, you know, there's some standard markers. I always ask what it, what's your relationship like with your dad? Psh, ask you what your plan is. Psh. Then I also noticed that there's a, a substantial, I mean, better than, you know, 70% of them identify with some version of MGTOW. Oh, um, there it is. There it is. And then there's a, a, I would say better than 50% of them are virgins. So I'm like, all right, we got to actually start discussing this, getting it out there and start uh, having this conversation so guys can start coming into the light to, to get them up and out of this. And I will say this, of the guys I actually work with, um, almost, well, only, almost, let's see. I'm trying to come up with a number. Close to 80% of them are on the way out of the house or out of the house now. Okay, well, that's good. And under and, and under uh, six months. So Okay, good. So good. that's where we're going to kind of go from. This, the average guy I'm talking about is making around $40,000 a year. Okay. You, when we, I'm, when I was, when I was 18 years old, you turned 18, you had three options. College, military, or job, but all three Straight of them had to get out of the house. That's right. I'm talking about guys who got out, gone to college, got a degree, and went back and lived with mother. There was a guy. I'm working with a guy who's making ninety five thousand dollars a year, and he's living at home with mom. It's that not is, that is inexcusable. It is not about and, it, and so it's not about money for a lot of these guys. What it is, a lot of a lot of these guys uh, are basically son boyfriends. Ooh. That's what they are, son boyfriends. Son boyfriends, sonsbins as well, yeah, right? Cause, we cause, about that. Yeah, because when you ask, well, what does your dad think about it? Inevitably, my dad's not in my life because no man will put up with this shit. Because here's the here's the real deal. People in the chat room can say what they want to. You can go get a fucking job at ONQ or 7-Eleven and go get you a five hundred dollar uh uh studio apartment. This is what you have to do when you're starting out. But a lot of these guys want to move from their parents' home, their mother's home, into this nice home. With the lot. Here's what I hear. I'm, uh, I'm saving up. I'm saving. I'm, I'm paying off debt. Right. I'm saving up to buy. I'm saving up to get a house. Right. And then, you know what? I dig three levels deep. One, two, one question and two follow-up questions. And the entire story falls the fuck apart. There, a lot of these dudes just don't want to grow up. Because here's the other side. They're not paying any rent. Yep. At all. 
that's a sweet deal to live someplace rent free is a sweet deal. And that's something that's very hard for a lot of men, especially millennials to grow out of. So the thing is, if you want to be in that situation, I'm like, okay, at least get ahead of Kurt. What's your plan? But dude, there is no plan. When I, when I can ask a guy who's 23 years old or 25 years old, how much does, how much is an apartment cost in your area? And they're like, I don't know. They don't even know the steps. They don't even know that, you know, how to do it. Right. I'm like, well, what is the rent like? I'm going to tell you, some of the guys I've coached with, I've actually had to say, you need to go to a local apartment complex and find out the process. I mean, they don't even know you need to have two and a half times the, the monthly rent. They didn't know you needed to go get the utilities turned on. And see, a lot of stuff is, is because they weren't taught by their mothers. And the guys feel shame because, you know, by the age of the mid-20s, they would feel silly asking their friends, well, mama don't want you to leave because I'm going to ask the guy, What's your dad think? Dad, dad isn't there. Say, well, does your mom have a boyfriend? No, mom's been had had a boyfriend in years. All right, are you paying mom any rent? No. All right, so you're a, you're a son boyfriend. Yes, that's really what it comes into. Yes. And when the people talk about in New York City, fuck that. That's what the show Friends was about. You get a roommate. Oh Jesus! Men, men have people have figured out how to do it up until the millennial generation. It's not like the millennial generation is not the millennial generation is better off than any generation previous. They got more education, more options. When we came, when I graduated high school, minimum wage was three dollars and thirty five cent an hour. Not everybody went to college. And again, I said most 50 percent or more of these guys have at least an associates. Most have a bachelor's. Most are making at least forty thousand dollars a year. No excuse. Help. Oh, see. The, the difference is we were chomping at the bit to get out and get into life. Right. You could, you had to hold us back. These guys had to launch. Well, I don't want, who gives a shit what you want? Cause I asked the guys all these questions. If your mom were to be involved in a fatal accident today, what would, what would you do? And most of them are just like, Jesus, I don't know. I'm like, life is like that. You're not, you're not making any forward progress. So here's 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 what I say. Then you don't need to worry about any parts of any parts of dating, any parts of anything, because no quality woman is going to go fuck you in your mama's house. There you go. That's and right. you complain that man, I don't have confidence. I don't I don't know how to approach women because you don't have any because because you know you're living shit you know you're living but you know you're living delayed so you don't even have the confidence to say even if i could walk up to this 10 and could spit the magic uh formula where am i going to take it